Hello everyone, this is John Crate, and we are back in the show, the Texas Rangers. Starting the 2023 offseason, our only uh, exclusive free agent is Brock Holt. And we do kind of want to keep him around, he's very, he's versatile. And he can play, he's versatile and he can, he's not, doesn't have a bad hit tool. He's been great for my team so far. So we're going to give him the offer. We're going to give him the contract that he wants. We also need a first base coach. Is there anyone who like doesn't take anything away? Speed, stealing, durability is good. Fielding is good. I do like him. Stealing, speed, durability, reaction. Oh, I like the plus two to fielding. There, I'm going to give you that kind of offer. So we don't really have much to do there. Oh. Okay, I guess we need to still find a first base coach. Guess we can go after you. So they're offering him one, essentially one point four for two years. And offer you one point five mm -hmm. for four years. How about that? There we go. And it looks like we signed. Brock Holt. Oh, here, we should not, we're not going to deal with that just yet. Okay. Oh, well, buy out your arbitration years. You're essentially going to be a max contract player anyway, so more than likely. So Jason Martin is, for better or worse, one of our better outfielders. What do we want to do with you? I kind of want to sign you just so that I can trade you. Because I don't really need you right now. Because we've got Bubba Thompson uh, and Steel Walker. So, like, I don't know that we need you. I'll, I'd, I'll offer you a contract just so that we can uh, eventually trade you here. We're going to offer you arbitration, of course. We should also we should offer offer you arbitration anyway. So John King is going up a little bit. He's been a pretty uh, decent long man for us. I'll give you in one more year here. Now we got to look at our contracts. So we got to get rid of at least one person <laughs> on the team. We're probably going to get rid of more than that, but we've got 21 starting pitchers, so we can get rid of at least one of those. Uh, we've got a bunch of relief pitchers and closers. We can get rid of at least a few of those, at least two. Uh, probably at least two catchers. We've got eight shortstops. Jesus. So what starting pitcher do we want to get rid of? I 
his contract's just renewable, so we'll just renew you. Your contract is also just renewable, so we'll renew you. to start actually trading away some of our pitchers. We've got so many of them that are like just going to get scooped up in the rule 5 anyway. Zach Kelly is probably the pitcher I want to get rid of. Yeah? Because he's 27 and only has C potential, but it's like... to the problem where we have too many good pitching prospects. So let's do closers first. He wants a real contract soon. Oh no, he doesn't. Hunter Woods got to go. Let's see, who do we want to get rid of here? He can still be a depth piece. Obviously, you're getting a contract because you got some potential. You're young. So Hunter Wood is going to be gone. Hunter Wood and Stephen Blake can go. Because then I can just go you. Make you a relief pitcher instead. Somebody over here, too, so like... You're not a closer. You, we'll, we'll edit you to be a relief pitcher. There. So pitchers should be all accounted for now. Now catchers, we can get rid of a few. Obviously, we're keeping you around. You're kind of our starting catcher, so we would probably be... Prefer 
five years, you'll net 2.2 million a year. I think we can afford that to get through your arbitration. options do you have? He's got some options. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want you for one more renewable year. Kruger can go. I'd like you for the next 10 years. So we're going to offer you... How much did you want for 10 years? 15.2 mil? a freaking star. Oh, you want a real contract. We gotta get rid of Eli White now. Okay, so we're getting a Kruger and White. Should almost get rid of Trevino. But then again, he doesn't have options. Or, I mean, he does have options, so. We've got 39 players on the 40 man already. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So third baseman. Just renew your contract. Yeah, we'll renew your contract. We'll renew... Kevin Padlow, because no one's going to take him, I guess. He's got potential. This guy, I guess we can, since we can keep him, we will. Uh, you are going to be getting a contract. How many shortstops do we have? We have eight, so we don't need to sign all of them. So we can get rid of Jack's Biggers. He's not even—he doesn't even have all that much position flexibility. So that's why I'd rather have Vargas. He's—he's he's got a few more. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of Biggers. How many outfielders do we have? We have seven, seven, and five. So we can't afford to get rid of a few of these guys. He's a good farm hand. Got to keep you around for your potential. You've got an interesting hit tool, but these guys have more potential. Then again, he's 27. Yeah, honestly, I like you more. Plus, you have an arm. It's like this guy could get better, but this guy, if I were to put him on the major league roster right now, he'd at least hit, he'd at least get on base. And I always trust the hit tool. I've seen players' potentials go up because they have great hit tools. So I always trust a hit tool. So I'll go with him instead. So we're getting rid of Biggers, Almanzer. I 
built up our uh, farm system to be a little too good, we're going to lose players in the Rule 5. <laughs> Anyway, center field and right field. So, of course, we got to renew uh, Mr. Walker. He's going up. How much for your... 1.7 to get buy out your arbitration. That's not bad. Okay, you're going. We're gonna get rid of you. So we'll keep you around. So we're gonna get rid of Vieira. Keeping Laura. Just because I'm curious what he can turn into, and he's so young. Still. Uh, we can keep all of these guys. Let's just keep them. Plus, we only have five right fielders anyway, so there. So we've got room for a few more players on the roster. Four. The big problem, though... Is our 40 man? He should be on the 40 man. Sir Howard. Shouldn't. He should be on the 40 man. Forty man is full, so I got so we can trade Howard. Dane Dunning, I don't think we need him on the forty man anymore, at least. doesn't need to be on the 40 man. Well, he does, because he's going to be taken. So let's try to remove Jonah Heim. If somebody takes him, that's not a huge deal. But he's got to be on the 40 man, because he's. Uh, there's no way we're leaving. There's no way that we're not going to... Somebody won't take him. Torres probably should be as well. He's an interesting one. Look at that position flexibility, too. So I do kind of want to hold on to him just for that. You can try and... Trade Trevino too. So we're gonna put. We're gonna see if we can package some of those players together. Let's see if we can package. So let's see, Jonah Bride. Jose Trevino. Mm -hmm. 
Spencer Howard. Let's just... I don't think we're going to get very far. Yeah, that's what I thought. Blue Jays are offering me... They want to trade me Brad Hand. I don't even care who you want. I do not want Brad Hand. Now here's the problem. We have to get the uh, 40 man. Set up. Let's just see all trade offers here. Here, let's okay. Let's go with prospects, just so that I know they're not going to necessarily be on the forty man. So with this deal, I could get DL Hall. So I'd get three guys off the forty man, and I get DL Hall back. That's not a bad uh, thing. So far, we're uh, looking at the Orioles. <laughs> They're offering me Nick Bitsko, though. though. That's tempting. I don't think I can turn that down, actually. I mean, we have to, we've got to put it on the 40 man, but it still opened up some spots. Because the cost is not on the 40 man, he needs to be on it. Like I said, I want Torres. No, that's not what I want. I want to add him to the 40 man. So yeah, these guys have to be on the 40 man center field. He hasn't signed his contract yet, so I can't trade him. I could trade Tavares, though. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get rid of Tavares, because it's I don't need him on the 40-man, really. But then again, at this point, we have... We're not going to get much for him anyway. But... That might be the best we're going to do, actually, right there. An 18-year-old with a potential at third base who's already a 63 overall. I think we got to do that. Ooh, he's got a lot of power potential, too. That bat could be deadly. Yeah, we made a good call here. So in theory, so I can put one more on the 40 man if I wanted to. 
might have to be you. Okay, so what happened here? I want to see claimed. Here we go, okay. So Almanzer went and Jonah Heim went. Or no, Dane Dunning and Jonah Heim are outrighted, okay. So Kelly and Almanzer are gone. That's fine. That was that was that did not matter. That's why the whole reason why we chose them. Now the real question here is, like, do we want any big name free agents? Because I don't know that we do. I don't know that we need to sign anybody. We're still in our rebuild mode here. We can still, but we can still sign players. We don't particularly need anyone at the moment. Like, oh, it's just that, that so many of these guys are going to be so overpriced, you know? We could use more bullpen help, I guess. But even then, it's like... Sometimes you can find some young closers, I guess. With a lot of potential. And catchers is where you can find the value. Hey, Mercedes is here. But he's going to want a real contract, so... Like this guy. Actually, here. Let's do that to make sure I get him. Although, he's probably just going to get taken in the row five. And this guy. Oh, he wants a real contract. Dang. Do you want a real contract? Yes. You don't. Yeah, like some of these catchers, it's like, hold them for a little bit, trade them. Jake Cronensworth. I do like him a lot in real life. Josh Donaldson. Doesn't really have much of a bat at this point. He's 38. There's my buddy that we had to trade because we had nothing. Hey, Martinez can still hit. He's not a bad. He's not bad. He's going down fast, but he's not bad right now. By the end of the season, I won't be able. To, I don't know if we could say the same thing.
So yeah, we're probably going to lose some people here. Orioles, stop it. Who would we lose? We didn't lose anybody. That is incredibly surprising. We managed well, I guess. Okay, so they want Nate Lowe, who I actually could trade. Because we've got... Matos, who... I almost have to have him up this year because he's going to be, he's like probably going to be our DH. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But he signed our 10 year contract, so that's good. So who are you offering me here? You want to trade me a third baseman who is old? Geo Urschel. Well, he's not old, but I mean, it's like we, I don't need. Especially what's his contract going to look like? 7.8 mil. Yeah, right. And a right fielder. Who's actually a decent prospect, but I can't do that. Interesting trade. The Giants would sign Jake Cronin. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, is there anyone interesting that has not been signed? seen anyone that I would want to because sometimes you can throw a cheap contract at them towards the end here and then it's like well they kind of have to accept okay renewable contracts I actually have none We're here. We're ranked 21st. So we're going up in the world. Our defense and speed are what's are what's holding us up. But yeah, hey, we're, we're going up in the world here. Um, here are some of the guys for next season. That's right. I was going to see if I could trade off you. I don't imagine I'll get much for you, but... Oh, right, an interesting right field prospect. Interesting closer, too. Ooh. The Rays have a lot of pitching that they're willing to just get rid of. Ideally, I'd like to get another outfielder. No, I don't need to trade him.
Okay, now to set our roster. So one, two, three, four. Man, you're gonna make the rotation here, man. Those are five starters. So let's see, we got obviously, so that's six pitchers, seven pitchers, eight pitchers, nine pitchers, ten pitchers. 11, 12, and 13. Okay. So there's our 13 pitchers. Catchers. One of these guys needs to go down. It's probably going to be you, because he's got more potential. And as time to play every day. So we'll keep Torres up versatility. Actually really good fielder. For now we're gonna move you to triple A. Obviously you're going down. You, though. I might have to send you down. No, I can't do that, can I? So these two, obviously. To send them three more players. We send down one more player. So it's Willie Calhoun, Joey Gallo. Okay, so there's a rock. We're going to have to figure something out for you, man. He can pull left, but... Which we'll probably end up doing. It's because he's better in left than Calhoun, it looks like. So Calhoun can remain the DH. We'll, we'll in a minute. Advance the regular season. Okay, we are ready. Okay, well, pitching rotation is going to be the easiest part. Except for that. Yep, those two are the long men, which is exactly how I wanted it. Here, you can pitch. He's got a higher stamina. We'll put him there. So we got three of those, three of those, and these guys. Perfect. Now for the interesting part. Okay. It's Brock going to be playing. This guy's So Torres, yeah, he's unfortunately a choice. So 
but you got to figure this out. So Matos, okay, he's got 52, 52, and 57. Yeah, he's got to be in left. This is a dumb, dumbass move, but we got to do it. Okay, so... Torres has some speed, so he's going to... Then it's got to be Calhoun. Right? Or 79. Then Low. Then Vado. Mas Frank, Matos. You just cannot hit left. You just cannot hit righties, can you? That's kind of a problem. Yeah, like this. You are going to let off the left. go. That's how we want to play it. We're starting pretty hot. Great. Looks like you're coming up here. So it looks like you're going to be playing short for us now. Also means you're batting last. And this doesn't matter. We'll fix that in a second. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go now. Everyone just kinda gets moved up a spot. Here for your f that's it. <laughs> I'll keep him on there. Okay, I thought it was a new injury. <clears throat> okay, keep him active. Place him on the bench because I don't think they're gonna put him there. Uh, look how much we've fallen. I figured they were going to put Holt. You started off so great, and now it's just... Can't even beat Baltimore. Get 
sitting on the bench. Thank God. Move you back down. No, wait, he was down here, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like right there. Now, he's got to be up here. Hey, with him, we're back in the lineup. I was going to say, we started off on a win streak, but... So this shouldn't be too... I shouldn't have to move him all that much in the lineup here, so... Yeah. We're good. He can stay there. Get a young guy some playing time. Okay, today's the draft. Go to the draft. We've got the seventh pick. I need a drink before we do this. Hold on. Let me get some water. going to be in the running for a blue chip prospect. Looks like there's a couple, but they're closing pitchers. I mean, I gotta take the, a blue chip prospect and get him, right? I don't need any more pitching, though, or at least not starting pitching. Well, this guy's still available for a reason, I would imagine, and I don't need any more catchers either. need a shortstop. This guy's interesting, but I don't... I'm not a full believer in his skills. But at the same time, we got nothing else. I just, I feel like with his hit tool, he could, and his fielding, he could be a great addition. So, even though we haven't scouted him, I'm sure that's not even accurate. Now we're down in the dart throwing territory. Now it's like, we haven't scouted any of these guys. We scouted this guy. I mean, what do I even need is kind of the thing here. I can play second base. 
Whatever. Wait. Let's grab this guy. another second baseman in the system. <laughs> He's an 80 overall with 70, potential to be 70. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's got an interesting hit tool. Last player. He's supposedly the best available. Let's just grab this pitcher and see what happens. Okay, how well did we do? Okay, well, we got this guy. He's a blue chipper. Center fielder. So this first baseman actually is interesting. Second baseman's interesting too. It's just gonna take a while. We'll sign you as organizational depth if we even need you, but that's kind of the thing. I don't think we will. We might even just get rid of you. Don't really want you or you, so we'll leave it at that. Ugh. Yeah, keep him out. We continue our losing ways. Indians acquired Cabrian Hayes, who is ridiculously good for two young guys. Patrick Wisdom went to the Cubs, or they, the Yankees got him for two promising players. Vavra is an excellent fielder. Same with Pereira. His bat is not super great, but it's interesting. It's not bad. And we're coming into the All-Star break with a few wins here. Yankees also acquire Andrew Vaughn. Jesus Christ. They're going for it this year. And they acquire Nick Madrigal. Interesting. What are they are just the Orioles got Nicky Lopez. That's probably a good deal for them because they didn't give up much. They gave up their, another shortstop who's old and a relief pitcher who's in his prime but not that good anyway. Hey, the AL wins. So yes, we're way back in the standings. Let's take a look. Who got, so one of our guys had to have gotten into the All-Star game. That's the law. So far it's looking like we're only going to have one. And it was Franco. Not even doing that great. Just we had to have somebody. Yep. <laughs> That's really about it. That's how that worked. I'm curious. Top prospects. We have the top prospect in baseball. Oh, hey, his potential went up. 
Nice. Yeah. We also have the number seven prospect in baseball, Zach Thompson, a relief pitcher. That's interesting that they have a relief pitcher that high. Then again, this is the game, not real life. We also have another catcher, Francisco Alvarez, who is skyrocketing. We're going to have to trade some of these guys. And we got George Kirby, number 20. We got a lot of prospects in the top fifth. We have four. Five, Bobby Boss. Okay, this so this can't be all that great. Well, Allard and O'Hara are doing an R. Allard and Arahara are doing okay. Smeltzer is having a great season, and these two aren't bad. They're improving, is at least. All of them are going up. Relief-wise, okay, so Owen White is doing great. And King is, you know, eating innings. And that's all we ask of him right now. Hernandez is having his usual amazing season. Bryant McGee pitched very well, but he also... And then Bremen has only pitched 15 and a third. So, hard to get a read on him. But he's going up. McGee is just kind of going to be the same forever. Our closing pitchers are actually relievers. Brio's doing pretty good. Uh, Benitez is doing great. Ray Ruiz, not so much. But as long as they're all going up, that's what I care about. And they are. Astros, Butera to a minor league deal. Butera's always going to have a job. <laughs> okay, catching-wise. Neither of these guys are hitting... Which is not surprising. Neither of them are great hitters. First base. So Lowe is having a ridiculously good season so far. Matos is not, but he's here to, to learn. So yeah, Lowe is, is 856. That's probably as good as it's going to get on this team. Second base, we've got Torres. He's getting better, even though he's not having a super great season here. He's actually walking 11% of the time. Jesus Christ. Good for you, Torres. Look at his vision, though. Not surprising. Third base, okay. He's So Young is getting some playing time here, and he's doing okay. Yeah, 775. It's going up. At shortstop, it's Franco, of course. We've got uh, Valdez has played some. Not much for hitting. So yeah, he's up going up across the board. His defense is spectacular. Willie Calhoun is actually not having a bad year. Look at that. 12 homers, 272, 766. So he's doing pretty good. He's doing okay. And he's getting better is the thing. Both these guys are on hot streaks. So Walker hasn't played a ton, but when he has played, he's been he's been hitting the ball. Walker or Thompson is not super great. And Gallo, nineteen. 842. So he Gallo's do as advertised at least. Ooh, we lost some power against lefties, but I mean, still kind of a lot of power. So I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> um, so I guess we're gonna see how we can finish the season. Dodgers acquire Akil Badu. White Sox acquire Robert Poisson. Yikes. For Hernandez. For a bunch of veterans and Ty well, Tyler Freeman's an interesting prospect. I've, made, I've talked about him before. Uh, 
Boba Thompson, put him on the 10 day, of course. Which means we gotta bring somebody up, which means we're gonna bring you up. Oh. Which means Walker is gonna be playing. Okay, we'll I'll place him on the bench then. We'll send. Yeah, we'll have to send Young down. Or Jung. Josh Jung. Is it Jung or Young? I don't know. we can send down you. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, we didn't have to do anything because Walker's playing. Let's give Walker some playing time. He could be the spark plug at the end of the lineup. Can we at least battle our way back to 500 here? Oh yeah. What did I do? Okay, so he came up. And he came up. Okay. That's not so bad. Whatever. No, we're not going to finish at 500, unfortunately. Express are advancing, and the Rough Riders are advancing. These are minor league teams are having some... I just keep them active for the rest of the way. It doesn't matter. The Rough Riders win. The Rangers still had a better season than last year by a few games, but... Yeah. So we didn't have any league leaders, not a surprise there. Awards. Let's see if we got any. Jorge Polanco was the most valuable player. He had 43 home runs. What in God's name happened? Oh my God. Hold on. I actually have to tell <laughs> one of my friends who's a Twins fan about this. He's going to be like, no fucking way.
get a kick out of that. Okay, so Cy Young is DeGrom. Batting title, nope. Hey, Hernandez was in the running for reliever of the year. Matos was in the running for rookie of the year. Didn't have a great first season, though. Probably because I stuck him at left instead of his natural position of first base. At the end of the season, who's our top? who are the top prospects? We have the first and third top prospects in baseball, and they're both catchers. <laughs> And there's this guy, third baseman, or second baseman, who can play, well, he can play all over, and he's got some po interesting power, too. I can see why he's a top prospect. So, yeah. Jesus. I don't know how much longer we can deny some of these guys playing time. We almost, we gotta trade somebody. <laughs> We've got too many catchers. Jackie Briggs got his way on onto the thing here. He wasn't even on there earlier. Zach Thompson fell. Bobby Voss is still on there. Yeah, that was that's a weird lineup. Okay, let's just take a look at how we did. So starting pitching was actually fairly good. I mean Bitsko had kind of a rough year, but he's a rookie. And he's got, and he's getting better, like clearly. He's up to an 81 overall, even though he didn't have a great season. Smeltzer had a pretty good season. We still have him for a few, for two more years after this too. Arahara and Allard both had great seasons. One more year for him. One more year of arbitration for you. In the bullpen, Owen White's doing good. He's going up. And Hernandez had his great season. But Owen White as a long and he did it as a long man. He, he put up those he had a great season as a long man. McGee didn't do so great, but I mean it's McGee. He's he is what he is. Martin went up. Zach Thompson didn't actually pitch. You know, these two, Ray Ruiz has improved a ton. Catchers. Yeah, man, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to have to think about that. Lowe had a great season. Look at that, 34 and 100, 269, OPS of 863. Torres. Contact skills, you should be getting on base way more. I mean, you're still walking 10% of the time, but you should be on base a ton. Tejada, through injuries, ended up with 16 homers, 250. Bronco did not have a great season, but he's still going up. Plus 6 to his contact against righties, which is good. Yeah, we're missing some players here. So I let Walker kind of take over later in the year. But Thompson's the one going up at a faster rate. Joey Gallo's starting to go down. He hit 33 homers, though. So it didn't, it didn't show some players. Didn't show Brian Torres what did he what he did. He didn't play a ton, but yeah, he didn't do so hot with the bat. That's okay. That's not why he's around. So 
He's up to an 81 overall. He lost a point in contact against righties, but he's gaining everywhere else. So yeah, he hit night in his season debut. He hit 1955, 235. So yeah, he wasn't super great, but this guy, he's all, he's gonna be a superstar. He's guaranteed to be a superstar. We got him forever now. We got him locked up. Who else didn't it show? Didn't show Calhoun. 20 homers, 76 RBI, 258. I'd like to see a better batting average. Okay, there we go. Aww. Phillies have defeated the Indians. Oops. The off season about to begin. We did, once again did not lose anybody. Any Hall of Famers? Scherzer and Cano. Scherzer had three saves. We have no exclusive for agent negotiations, and we don't have to hire anybody. So I'd say we're doing pretty good in that front. But we have exactly you know. So we've got some decisions to make. We're gonna have to figure this out with the catching, especially. Look at, this. Look at this, this is ridiculous. I mean, none of them are particularly great with the bat. I mean, we've got to keep Alfonso. He's probably the best. At least he's better with the bat than the rest of them, it looks like. And he's a great fielder, so it's like we can't get rid of him. God, do we have to trade two of them? We might have to trade both of them. Both these two. Because they're going to command some money. Actually, I still have him for quite a while. But at the same time, it's like he'd just be sitting around. Especially if we're going to keep Torres as a backup. Yeah, we got decisions to make. So I'll consider that for next time. So next time on the show, the 2024 offseason and 2025 season. So as usual, this is John Crate signing out.